I decided to devote my journalism career to two issues around women. Uh, after an incident in uh, Sarajevo, I was in Sarajevo in 1992 and 93, uh, covering the effect of war on children. And toward the end of my assignment, I began to hear rumors about rape camps. And you know, as a journalist, one of the one of the things you have to understand is that one of the first casualties of war is often the truth. But all day long, I heard this story from more and more credible sources, and by the end of the day, I knew there was something to it. So I gathered up everything I could, names, mobile numbers, anecdotes, everything I could. And when I came back to Canada the next day, I handed it all to a news agency. And I said, give this to one of your reporters. This is a headline, a national headline story. And I waited for that headline. And I waited and waited and waited. And seven weeks later, I phoned the man I gave the material to. And I said, what happened? And he said, well, you know, it was a good story. And, and I, I was going to assign it. But you know, I got busy. And you know, I was on deadline. And you know, I forgot. I thought, 20,000 women were gang raped. Some of them eight years old, some of them 80 years old. And he forgot. And I said, how could you forget? He said, oh, Sally, you're always going on and on about the women. So two days later, I was on a plane going back and I found a woman. I, I spoke to many women. They were terrified that their story would get out because then they could be thrown out of their families. But I found a woman called Eva Penovich and she said, I want my story told. Until you put a name and a face to an atrocity like this, nobody's gonna do anything about it. And she told her story. It, it was so shocking, it was so brutal. It, it, I, I never forgot that story. And I printed that story. And Canadian women picked that up as though it was their own grandmother or their own mother or sister or daughter. And they wrote letters to the UN and they, they carried that torch. But by then, the rest of the news agencies were on it. And those brave women in Bosnia, mostly, who had suffered hideously from these awful men gang raping them, many had died. Those survivors went to The Hague, the International Criminal Court, and they had their case heard, and they made rape a war crime in 1998.